Well, this movie took me by surprise because of one character, and I'll go into detail about that. But first of all, let's roll that intro and the synopsis, and uh, let's talk about it, because I got some stuff to say. Here we go, see you soon. Alien Romulus Synopsis While scavenging the deep ends of the derelict space station, a group of young colonizers come face to face with the most terrifying life form in the universe. Hey guys and welcome to my new movie review for Alien Romanus. Wow! Whoa, 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 whoa. Man, where do I start? Like, where do I start? Oh, there's so much to unpack in this. There's so much to unpack in this, it's crazy. Wow. You can tell straight out of the gate that the director had an absolute field day making this movie an absolute field day. Like this is a big budget film, oh man. Anyway, for those of you who are new to my channel, hey and welcome, it's so good for you to be here. I really appreciate you watching this review, my personal review for Alien and Romanus. And those of you who have, have been following my channel for any period of time, hi, good to see you and I really appreciate you checking out this review for Alien Romanus. And those of you who are new, I just want to give you a quick heads up before I keep going into this, my thoughts and uh, about this movie. For anyone who knows this about me, I actually don't ever do spoilers. That's right guys, no spoilers in my movie reviews. Because in my personal opinion, if you want to get spoiled by a movie, just go and see it. Like, true, or go and watch a spoiler review. But I don't do them here, so fret not, you're not going to get spoilers from me. However, Let's talk about Alien Romanus. So, before I go deep diving into this, I just want to say really quickly, before watching this film, I had in my mind to start this review off by saying, go and watch Aliens, the, the original film, the no 1979, I believe it is, which is like crazy how old that movie is, and then watch this one and then watch the second Alien movie, because it's boom, boom, boom. Because in the trivia for this movie, and I'm so glad that I read the trivia before watching this movie, and just in case you don't know, I'm about to tell you where to find the, the original Alien movie. You can actually go and watch it on Disney+, Plus because this is actually a Fox Studio movie. So, and obviously Disney owned Fox. I'm wondering where to find it. It's on Disney Plus. You're welcome. In fact, the entire uh, the entire catalog, I believe, for Alien is on Disney Plus. And I was gonna say, I was gonna say, go and watch the the original Alien movie. And I kind of do feel like I want to promote that, and I kind of do feel like I want to strongly encourage you to do that. The reason why. The reason why, and I'm not gonna spoil anything, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but it's very, very hard to talk about this without it. And I'm not gonna say it, I'm just gonna contextualize it. There's a character in this movie, and let's just say, I don't know how. I don't know how. In fact, in fact, the way that this character is introduced, perfect word, <laughs> so glad I thought of that word just then, introduced in Alien Romanus is completely, completely goes against everything of how 
they utilized him or this character in Aliens. In Aliens, sorry, not Aliens. Aliens is the, the second one. But, and I was, and I truly, 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 when this character came on, I, I openly, openly went, ah, wait, what? And when you see it, when you see it, you genuinely will be like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. They, that doesn't make any sense. And it doesn't. It doesn't. It really doesn't. I was dead set, guys, was like, I, I literally, and the hard part about it, the hard part about it is this character certainly, to my recognition, doesn't follow on onto Aliens. And now I really need to go and see Aliens. I really need to watch that film now to see if that character is in Aliens. Because again, if he is, that made, that it, now it makes sense, but it definitely didn't, especially how they reintroduce this character. It's like the biggest WTF factor ever. And the other part about this movie that I read in the trivia on IMDb is this movie is technically a standalone alien film. Like it does stand on its own two feet because it does. But <laughs> if you're gluing them together in significant order from Alien, then Alien Romanus and Aliens, that character makes no sense at all in the timeline, in the storyline of it, in any way, shape, or form. However, ladies and gentlemen, in saying all that, Alien Romanus is an outstanding film. Now, I have to say, I'm not going to give anything away because I want when you see it, I want you to I want you to see it for its own merit. I don't want you to think, oh yeah, you were talking about this character. I'm actually not going to allude to who it is. But I'm going to say this. At the start of this movie, I personally, in my humble opinion, personally, I was really just thrown off by a character in this film and only towards the end did I go okay now he's warming on me but at first it, I, I didn't like him at all in fact I, I it, it was really bugging me like it was really really bugging me and I was just like I'm not feeling it like I'm really 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 not feeling it and I just the more that he had dialogue the more it annoyed me and which is interesting because another character like at the start was clashing with this character and you know and they allude to it and they in in the dialogue of the story they say why and it's fitting it's like oh yeah that makes sense and this isn't a terrible film guys like it really isn't it's not a terrible film in fact those of you who have been following my channel for any period of time, you guys know that one of the things in cinema that I love so deeply, so passionately, and it has to happen, it has to happen, guys. In order for, the, for a movie to work, it has to have this element to it. It truly does. And that is character chemistry. It has to have character chemistry. They have to work with one another. We as an audience member need, we must, we must believe that these characters work well with each other and have chemistry because if it doesn't work, the storyline does not flow. Like it just doesn't work. And it truly, you go and find any film, any film in the history of, of cinema that has really bad character chemistry and you, you're, you're ta you just tap out. You're like, I'm, I'm done, I'm done. Because it doesn't work. And if a movie with this higher caliber of this brilliance of acting are drawn together so just like glue, whether the characters die or they don't, that's irrelevant. And it really is irrelevant. 
what holds it together and what makes the flame keep burning for the movie to just power on through is their character, is their chemistry together. It has to, whether they're related or not, friends, foes, it doesn't matter. It really is irrelevant. That stuff is completely irrelevant. It has to work chemically, chemistry, fully. One of the things that I thought about while watching this movie, guys, and I really will be shocked if they don't do it. Like, honestly, two things, truly. I, I, I wholeheartedly mean this. So technically, technically this movie is made by Disney. It's, no, it's a Fox movie, it is a Fox movie, but Disney own Fox. If Fox Studios don't make a handshake agreement, and honestly guys, I really mean this, to make this movie into a theme park, I will be so blown away. Like literally, just an attraction at a theme park. That is how good the set pieces are in this movie. And I, I'm not, oh man, I really mean that. I genuinely, wholeheartedly mean that. Now, <clears throat> this is something that I kind of myself, I've tried to a little tiny bit and it's very, very difficult because if you, if, it's very difficult to use this because especially in a movie review, and I've been putting them in all of my movie reviews in any way, shape or form that I possibly can now. But it's something that's very, very, very hard to put in a movie review and make it just so subtle in the background, but it has to work. And that is the audio. And now I've brought it to your attention, you go like, oh wow, there is audio in this. The audio in, a, in, a, in, in anything, it really has to work. It can't be overpowering, but it can't be under-delivered either. It has to just be so there. It has, to be a, it has to be a character in the movie. And I really mean that. And I know that sounds bizarre, but it does. Because when the, when the, the score has a character, it is developed that well, it intertwined so seamlessly in a movie, it doesn't take you out. In fact, it draws you in and connects the audience even deeper and closer to everything that we're visually seeing on the screen. It works impeccably in this movie. It is so good. It is so executed in the most outstanding way brilliantly possible oh my goodness like i like truly it is amazing so that built in with the the thematic elements of this movie i kid you not guys oh man like i said if they don't make this a theme park attraction i'll be so surprised because it will just be a ginormous loss like it, it honestly will it will be a massive colossal loss because when you see it you'll get it like you will just be like yeah i get it i get it. because the the just every thematic element about this the 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 score and the structure of the set design of this movie is so impeccably put together that it is just heart poundingly racingly awesome now i'm going to talk about something that they create in this movie and i really mean that that they create in this movie that is so nightmare inducing it is so so grotesque it is so so grotesque that I couldn't believe that it was a thing. I couldn't believe that they made it like that that it's that it's in this, that they created this in this movie. When you see it and it's right at the end, and it is the biggest visual, graphical, awesome treat to the audience that you that it's an additive to the aliens. Oh man, for me not to give it away right now, it is just burning in me. That's how badly you are going to be blown 
blown away. For any Alien fan out there, they have taken something and taken it to a whole new level. And it's kind of funny because when they allude to it, at the it's not right at the beginning of it that that it's you know it's you know it's probably after the the, the first act really, and they allude to it. When they, when they talk about this certain thing straight away, immediately, I knew, yep, I know what's going to happen there. I knew exactly what, and it did, and it did. Oh man, did it. Oh my goodness. Woo! In the biggest, biggest, biggest way possible. Oh guys, they have absolutely executed this film in a colossal way that Alien fans of the franchise are going to be so, so happy with this movie. And like I said, like I said at the start of this movie review guys, that, that, that what they did with that specific character, when you see the movie, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And you, if you haven't seen Aliens, the, the first movie, sorry, not Aliens, Alien, the first one, if you haven't seen that in a long time, it's it, it's kind of funny. I feel like saying don't see it because of how colossal it, they. This was a big mistake. It's massive. It is a ginormous, ginormous. It's it's almost like the directors forgot to watch the first movie. Like, and I really mean, I I genuinely mean that. I really mean that. It's almost like the director's went, I don't worry, we know what we're doing. Yeah, but you forgot what happened to that character. Because when they introduced that character, you're like, what? That makes no sense. And like I said, guys, like I said, I just finished watching it. So I'm not like, oh no, you don't know what you're talking about. I just finished watching it before watching this film. So when you see it, it's like the biggest, huh? Like it's the biggest, what is what is happening right now? Oh my goodness, it's crazy. But I honestly wholeheartedly, thoroughly recommend you personally go and, out, go and check out Alien Romanus yourselves if you are an Aliens fan if, and if you wanna see something at the end of this film that is so grotesque and so nightmare inducing and is so messed up. However, it's awesome. It is a masterpiece. They have nailed this movie. It is fantastic. Absolutely outstanding movie for this franchise. It is brilliant. It is a knockout of the park. They've done absolutely a wonderful, incredible job. And I was impressed. I was so impressed. So there you go, guys. Truly, go and check it out. Honestly, in my humble, total humble opinion, go and check out Alien Romanus. It's awesome. I really hope you guys get a kick out of this movie as I enjoy bringing this movie review to you because it's, it's so good. You guys have been amazing. Thank you so much for being here. I really value it so much. You know what to do if you'd be so kind. I'd really, really appreciate it. I, let's, let's try and boost me over to a thousand, uh, a thousand subscribers. That would be so awesome of you guys to do that for me. I would really value that so much. If not, I understand. I get it. Not everyone likes subscribing. I get it. No hard feelings. Like, subscribe, comment, leave it. Uh, don't forget to click the bell for notifications. You guys are awesome. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for being here. Guys, this is Superman Steve. Appreciating you always and loving your time. Flying out.